tomorrow we're going to pick up a couple of new rabbits. So we need a, a place to keep them safe. I'm going to build a couple of uh, um, rabbit cage pedestals. Pretty easy build. We got a couple of new 2x4s to work with and uh, we're using some old scrap that we've had around for a while to build the legs out of. Um, shouldn't take too long.
so here we've got the finished rabbit pedestals. We've designed them around these bins so that the bins will catch the rabbit poop. Aside from the meat from the rabbits, probably one of the most valuable products of the rabbits is their poop. It's, uh, it's just great for uh, fertilizer for our garden. Wendy actually built these cages herself. Uh, she didn't film any of it, but uh, it was a lot of work for her, and they really came out quite nice, I think. Right now we're going to use these uh, lids for the bins to keep uh, a little bit of sun and uh, rain and weather and stuff off of the rabbits, even though they're under the carport at the moment. Um, still a little extra, extra protection for the rabbits isn't a bad thing. We may end up going with tarps or something that's a little bit more encompassing to give them even more uh, uh, shade protection, but uh, we'll see. It's getting a little late, but Wendy has one more project for me. One of the rabbits that we were going to be picking up tomorrow might be pregnant, so she wants me to build a nesting box for her. So I'm going to glue these pieces together, let them dry, and then come back and use some nails to give it a little strength. Actually, before I do that uh, gluing, I'm going to have a couple more, a couple more cuts to make first. This process is a little tricky, but uh, it's just a net nest box, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not worried about uh, about everything being absolutely perfect on this this project.
It has been a long day. My uh, camera battery just ran out, so I replaced that. All I did while the camera was off was put a little glue around the, this piece and knock it into place. So all that's really left is to uh, clamp that down and uh, let it dry probably for at least an hour, maybe a little more. And then I will come back and put in the nails. Quite a strange looking contraption with all these clamps. Should be good. So we're back. I'm going to take the vices off and uh, nail it together. This is a little manual hand drill. I've just got a, actually a little nail in there as a drill bit for some pilot holes. Pretty happy with that.